Good morning. Happy Friday. I can't tell you what joy I get preparing and sharing the amazing things that I have learned about the body and its uh, ability to recover from all kinds of illness, especially when we give it the tools that it needs to um, cleanse and get the nasty out and then you start getting the good in and you'll feel a thousand times better. So I'm blown away by the response as people are going to be doing this cleanse with us this time around. So if you hadn't heard, go ahead and join us September 16th. We're going to be doing a gentle cleanse, uh, cleanse without misery and without extremes. And so um, find the video in this Facebook group uh, that goes into depth about why we cleanse and um, what the what it looks like, what you would need to get started. You are not going to break the bank here. And today I want to do one of the add-ons I promised. So we are going to be talking about how you can customize this cleanse. Um, if it's your first time through, I would just do the basic cleanse and then some of what I talk about today because the gut is so foundational in maximizing your results. But if you want to focus on weight loss, if you want to focus on your kids, if you want to focus on hair, skin, um, emotions, sleep, we are going to be doing little mini um, videos I'll be adding on there too. But today is about the gut. And the gut is, is the foundation of our health. There are connections. I've just been shocked at what I've learned about, about the gut. And so there are connections um, between gut health and anxiety, um, gut health and uh, the ability for kids to focus at school. And I, I thought of that this morning because have you ever noticed, have you ever noticed that when kids are upset or stressed, they don't use that language. They don't say even I've had a bad day. They say my tummy hurts. Have you ever picked up on that? And, and my daughter did it this morning on the way to school. She was complaining of a tummy ache. And so, um, in her case, I think there's an emotional thing there. And so, um, so I know, I know our kids are um, under a lot of stress at school. I know this. I, I remember, and it's worse now, um, with the testing and the homework and all that they've got on their plates. So um, I really would love for you guys to, if you have kids, tune in for when we do the kids one as well. But um, I will mention a little bit of the, the kid-friendly version of focusing on the gut also. So a couple announcements before we hop right in. Um, first, the um, wellness workshop is coming up. Please join us. So far, we've got a great crowd coming. It's going to be an amazing event. Mocha's Mug in downtown Landrum has the most beautiful space. And so um, we will be meeting there, and uh, you can get yourself scanned. Um, so the Itovi scanner actually reads, like the Fitbit technology, reads what oils um, your body receives at that moment, so what oils you need most at that time. Um, and that's really cool. We'll have make and take rollers. We'll have some things especially for cleansing if you're joining us in that. You'll get a special gift. If you bring a friend, you both get a gift. Uh, we'll have somebody there doing um, Aroma Touch hand massages. So some come get your hands massaged. And there's nothing over $5. So um, it's 10 to noon, September 14th, Saturday, September 14th. And then we will be beginning this cleanse together Monday, September 16th. If you're a newbie and you would like to come see what all this cool stuff is about with essential oils um, and then try some, come Wednesday, the, is that the 18th, whatever that next, or Thursday, forgive me. I got a calendar that starts the days on um, Monday instead of Sunday. And so everything's shifted over. And it's killing me. So uh, Thursday the 19th, Thursday, September 19th at 6 o'clock, we'll be in downtown Landrum at Southern Delights, which is that space that she's always awesome about letting us use. Also, just so you know, doTERRA's global convention starts next week. So that begins Wednesday the 11th. Yep. 
and goes through the end of that week. So um, I will be showing you guys little sneak peeks of that. There's going to be new products released. A lot of information and education will come out of that. And so I'm excited about the stuff that um, the medical world is, is researching and publishing in regards to essential oils benefit to our health and wellness. And so uh, that's, that's exciting. And at the end of the video, we will give away our LRP love. So don't let me forget, LRP is your monthly wellness box. So to qualify for today's giveaway, um, you have to have already placed a 100 PV, which is approximately $100 in oils, order this month. And, um, and then I, I can give you a gift. Second week of the month, same thing. Third week of the month, I give away to any amount. So just know that when you're part of our monthly wellness program, which is totally optional, you can get your wholesale access without doing this, um, you will be getting points back, but there's no minimum. So you don't have to order 100 every month. Uh, it's just nice because then you can opt in for the product of the month, other promotions when it's a little higher than that. This month, if your um, monthly wellness box is 150, then you get to jump six months ahead and your reward's back. So you don't have to start at 10% back, you get 20% back. So that adds up really, really quickly on top of the 25% off that um, you're already getting with your wholesale discount. All right, so into the nerdy curriculum, you ready? So you might have noticed when we talked about the uh, cleansing in our last discussion, uh, again, look for that in this group if you want to watch through that. Um, we mentioned what a typical day will look like, okay? So we are not out to, to rock your world and make you feel awful or even interfere with your schedule. So even if you're busy, you can do this and you're going to feel better in 90 days. And so uh, it's a 30-day cleanse. And what we're going to be doing is um, make sure you've got your vitamins. So a typical day, you'll start out with your vitamins. I want you to be drinking citrus oils in your water, okay? So you can pick your favorite. I mentioned lemon. Lemon is one of the best for detoxing petrochemicals and supporting that liver and kidney, but there are others too. And as we do the weight loss focus, that kind of thing, I will, I will bring up some of those. Honestly, pick whichever one tastes the best. I will tell you that for gut support, wild orange is fantastic if you're feeling stuck. So here's an interesting fact that I learned in watching the um, Truth About Detox documentary. Super long, very interesting uh, documentary about detoxing the body in a healthy way. And one of the quotes I mentioned before is a great cleanse happens from the bottom up, right? So when we talk about gut health, we have to talk about all levels of the, the gut. And uh, if you start detoxing and you don't get it out, it just gets reabsorbed in that colon. So we do not want that to happen. Um, the fact that they mentioned that really blew me away is that a healthy, okay, so he said the medical definition of constipation is only going once a day. I thought that was healthy. I thought once a day was good. If it was less than once a day, then you had, you know, you were stuck. But you should need to go more than once a day um, when your gut is healthy. And so you all know some of my story. My gut has always been my issue. It affects and creates brain fog. It creates anxiety and depression. It creates um, uh, struggles with what to eat and all the social stuff that comes with that. And so I would not wish gut imbalance on anybody. And so my hope is that if you're going to do this cleanse with us, that you will really think about the health of your gut. And so um, if you join us and you're adding citruses to your water, the citrus oil you want to get if you feel stuck is wild orange. So wild orange is fantastic at helping move that lower gut. Lemon is going to help you detox better, but it's not worth detoxing unless you move it out. Another thing that's going to help if you're stuck, the terazyme that's part of our recommended cleanse is going to help you if you're stuck. And what's awesome about the terazyme, I didn't even grab it, 
Terrazyme is an enzyme supplement that simply takes the pressure off of your gut from breaking down your food. I've done videos before about adding it to oatmeal. You know, it turns to water. It's really amazing the way the enzymes that used to be in our food when they were in their raw form but are often cooked or processed out will help benefit your gut. And, uh, and when we eat processed food, the liver and the kidney create these enzymes. So it's not like you're without them. But if you incorporate an enzyme supplement into your health routine, it takes the pressure off of your liver and your kidney from having to make those enzymes, and therefore they can focus on metabolizing hormones and other toxicity that you're trying to expel. So enzymes are a great way to get your gut moving. PB Assist, also part of the cleanse protocol, the probiotic aspect. Um, doTERRA's is um, okay to keep at normal room temperature. And the reason for that is because it's specially encapsulated, so it's not going to just die in your stomach acid. It also has prebiotics, so it's going to feed the probiotic, that good bacteria that your gut needs to keep things going. So built into the cleanse is already more water with citrus oils, your terrazyme, your enzyme supplement, and your probiotic component. But I am um, interested in sharing with you a couple other things that can really make your gut so much happier. And I know because they've worked for me, so you guys are probably expecting this. I must, must rep uh, recommend Digestin first. So this is a ginger, fennel, anise seed, peppermint blend that's phenomenal for the gut. So even like diverticulous level, diverticulitis, there we go, level um, gut issues, this is very soothing. I fell in love with this through morning sickness. When we have tummy aches or tummy bugs, this comes out, you'd be shocked how quickly it settles the stomach. My husband finally stopped calling my oils my voodoo, <laughs> my voodoo, six months um, when this worked to help him get off reflux meds. So this works almost instantly on heartburn. And we love the Digest tabs. So um, they came out with this later. You can put the oil, one or two drops, in a little shot of water, drink it like that. Or they sell Digest tabs, which are like, um, they look like a Tums, they don't taste like it. So if you like black licorice, that's what this tastes like. And my kids eat these. So when my daughter this morning had her tummy ache that I think was more emotional. Um, I handed her back this bottle and she had a digest tab before she went to school. And so it's, it's miraculous in terms of um, gut support in the moment, okay? So gut support in the moment, you wanna have your digest set on hand. I would encourage you to start trying to create a habit through this 30 day cleanse with us. So I want you to think and pick something. If you know that you don't drink enough water, that would be my first recommendation. Try to carry that past our 30 days. Drink more water. Your body, your skin, your hair, you'll, your health will love you for drinking more water. And add that citrus oil in because we're always getting exposed to more chemicals and that citrus oil not only tastes really good, but it also helps keep that cleansing process happening on a regular basis. So that would be my first recommendation for a habit I would hope that you would come out with on the other side of this. Second, second is we talked very briefly in the cleanse content about fiber. And I wanna hover on that just a little bit. So Miralax, that was, that was the brand I was trying to think of before. Miralax is not the best choice for fiber, and I'm so sorry if you take it, because it is fiber, it's all right. The problem with it is that it has a lot of dyes and chemicals. It, if you look at the label, there's just more in it than there needs to be. So um, I would highly recommend, look at me, I cut the labels off of stuff. I got this off Amazon. So what you want, and this is the, the um, fiber source recommended in that um, medical documentary that I watched, uh, psyllium husk powder. Get the powder, super easy to use. I have mine in my jar. I have my scoop right in there that came with it. And I'm going to show you how simple this is. It's tasteless. So other than like, and I'm a weird texture person. I don't really like awful textures. I actually felt like the Mucinex, or the Mucinex, the Miralax was harder to get down 
simply because it was so um, uh, sugary and I couldn't get the texture. It felt gritty or something. I don't know. Maybe they don't make it that way anymore. So um, I just put a scoop in a full glass of water. Now, one thing, if you're going to do a whole scoop of fiber, go refill this glass and drink it twice. Okay, so we don't want the fiber to have the opposite effect. I stir everything with a butter knife. Is anybody else like that? <laughs> I don't like having chunky stuff on spoons, and I feel like with a knife you can just scrape it off. Okay, so it does not look appealing, not going to lie. This would taste just like water, just with a different texture. So I like to add my citruses to this too. And so the first oil that you're going to be using in the cleanse is Zendocrine. And this is that detox oil. So if you want, go ahead and get this out of the way first thing in the morning. I'm gonna put two drops in uh, my fiber and I'm gonna drink this down, go back in after our video, refill it and drink it again so that I'm not getting anything stuck. But it's super easy. It does not taste bad. The Zendocrine, it doesn't taste awesome. So you can't get the soft gel version of that. Um, but you could put your wild orange in here. That would make it a lot happier. You could put your lemon. There's grapefruit. There's slim and sassy. There's so many citrus oils you could add just to make it taste better. If you're a mint person, add peppermint to it. That'll wake you up in the morning. That's a really good way to start. So if you can see, it's really not chunky or nasty. And I'm not getting big bursts of powder in my mouth. So that is how easy it is to do um, fiber. And I would recommend doing that through this 30-day cleanse. We talked about cutting out the three nasties, right? When you cut out sugar, artificial sweeteners, um, and sodas, you might have um, a detox response. The Zendocrine oil might cause a, a detox response. This should be temporary and mild. If it's not, let me know, cut back completely, and then reevaluate. Either do less or um, just pay attention, okay? I want you to pay attention to your body because when you're detoxing, like I said, if you don't get it out, then your body restores it, and we don't want to overwhelm your system. So um, the fiber helps with this. Having the fiber as part of your 30-day cleanse is going to absorb the toxins that are being released, help move that lower gut out along with your water and your terrazyme and um, your citrus oils. And so um, you are not going to have the same detox side effects as if you did not choose to do fiber. Not to mention it's amazing for cleansing the colon and keeping things moving. So the longer something sits in your colon, the longer it reabsorbs. And it, so if you think about what's in the colon, <laughs> reabsorbing it is not, not something we want. So um, I highly recommend adding fiber, adding fiber, one scoop every day for 30 days and see how you feel. It's gonna make a world of difference. Keep that habit after the 30 days if it's something that you know you wanna focus on. I don't do fiber regularly anymore, um, but I have loved the seasons that I did because it really makes a big difference. Second thing to focus on the gut that is part of our cleanse that I want you to consider doing I don't know about you, but we always do stuff in these big giant plastic cups that we got from Dickies. I was at a friend's house the other day and uh, see, we use these to like clean the kids and wash the dog. I mean, we have these everywhere in our house. And her, in her house, it was a QT cup, right? So it was a quick trip, big plastic cup. Don't go out, break the bank, please. So I um, stuff this full of lettuce, right? So green leafy vegetables, I am not talking about iceberg. Green leafy vegetables have so many detox properties. They have great fiber in them as well, and they're wonderful for cleansing and supporting that liver and kidney. I don't like eating salads. I do if I grew it in my garden, it tastes better. But in general, I am not a fan of, of salads. So when I have to be buying my lettuce at the store, I shove it all in here. I put a scoop of tarragreens on top of it because this is more vegetables and fruits 
um, that will make you feel like you're really feeding your body well without having to eat a lot of vegetables. And it has a little bit of a sweetener in it from that fruit to make this taste better. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's not amazing, but in my opinion, it's better than apple cider vinegar, <laughs> which I have tried to incorporate in my life and, and I don't really love. And then from there, I fill it half with milk, either regular milk or coconut milk or almond milk. Get the unsweetened stuff. We're not trying to add a bunch of extra refined sugar into this. And then I do the other half water. And then I found this bad boy for 30 bucks. So this Cuisinart um, little immersion blender is what I use right in my Dickies cup. And then it rinses right off and so super easy to clean and um, now I have a way to get a lot more vegetables into my day than usual and this does not taste bad at all so um, even my son steals it now my girls won't but my son will so to recap boost your 30-day cleanse by focusing on your gut you're doing that in the cleanse already by drinking more water by incorporating your probiotic and your enzyme supplement. You've got your vitamins that are feeding your body. You're drinking more water with citrus oils in them. But also consider adding a scoop of fiber every morning and, and doing a green drink or large salad. Get some green leafy vegetables into your life and uh, try to do that daily. You will also notice that this makes you feel more full and less um, hungry if you're missing the, the sugary stuff. Uh, so I promise you this is going to be awesome on the other side. And I'm very, very excited for um, how you guys are going to feel after this 30-day cleanse. We're starting September 16th together. And um, so go ahead and start your vitamins as soon as they come in the mail. Start drinking your water now. And then we will start the calendar that's also posted in here um, for the 30-day cleanse with the Zendocrine oil. That'll be our first 10-day phase uh, on September 16th. If you're local, come to our workshop Saturday the 14th. Let me know you're coming and I'll make sure to prep you a goodie. And then we will finish up with some LRP love. All right, so I have two today. Again, if you don't have your wholesale access, go to the pinned post at the top because I want to give you $50 in free goodies uh, for joining with any of the starter collections this month. And um, there's ways that you could pick and choose and qualify by getting the cleanse stuff instead of a kit. Uh, we could talk about that if that's a good fit for you. Then you have the option of um, opting into our uh, monthly wellness box program and winning an LRP Love giveaway from me. So our two today are Angie Davis. And Angie Davis, if her um, rewards points weren't up to 20%, they are now. So she's hopped six months in the future in terms of the rewards that she's going to get back through the whole holiday season. And so I'm really excited to see all the freebies that she can get with that. And then Gay Atkins is our second LRP Love winner. And so I am very excited to get you guys uh, either a custom blend or a Citrus Bliss lotion. And um, I hope that this content is relevant and um, helpful for you. Because when we're on this natural wellness journey, um, there isn't a lot of time to try anything but baby steps. So baby step your way into this. Join us for this really easy cleanse and you might be like me and end up hooked on um, how great you feel. One other thing I wanted to mention because I was making this uh, my green drink and I was thinking about it. I don't know if you have a garden. I don't know if you have a flower bed. Whatever you have, if you have some dirt that's not like baked red clay, although you could try it in that, I want you to snag some lettuce seeds because if you're in the southeast like I am, I learned last year that if you put some lettuce seed, they're teeny tiny seeds, so just like sprinkle them. Um, if you put them in the ground now, there's a good chance that they will live through the entire winter. So don't pay a fortune for organic lettuce from the store when you can walk out to your little 
flower bed and pick your greens, rinse them off. They won't have that nasty slimy that we get in the big like pre-made um, salads and, um, and you will love it. So go get romaine seed or a leaf lettuce and <laughs> Another nerdy fact, if you want to do it in conjunction with the moon calendar's recommendation, because yes, I follow the moon calendar when I'm planting, go ahead and plant it next Thursday or Friday. So that is the, um, I think the 20th, is that the 20th? And then you will thank me because you will have fresh lettuce all winter. Yes, the 12th and 13th, there we go, this coming week, Thursday, Friday, the 12th and 13th, plant your lettuce by the moon calendar, and, um, and enjoy this cleanse with us. So comment if you have any questions. Congratulations, Gay and Angie, on your LRP Love giveaway, and I can't wait to see you guys at the workshop. Bye.